Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's video is going to be how you can get any woman into bed who likes you. Now, I get a lot of emails and questions and comments from guys that are either out on a date or are going out with on a date with with women that they like, and they basically want to know how do I get laid? How, if I meet a girl out in a bar or a nightclub and she likes me, what do I do? Because nine times out of ten, when you're doing the things that I talk about in my book or my articles or some of the other videos, you're going to meet women in your daily life. Things are just going to happen. You may go on a camping trip or you know go meet some friends out at a nightclub and you know through the group of people that are together, there might be a girl there that you run into and you like her, she likes you, your groups are hanging out, friends are all hanging out together. It's you know, what do you do? Like some of the guys start thinking, okay, well I have to get her number and I've got to leave because, you know, I got to call her in a few days and then make a date. So that's the problem. And that's where a lot of guys go wrong is they start thinking about things too much. And yes, it's true. I systematize things in there and make dates when you're going out because not normally these, you know, normally these things aren't going to happen, but sometimes they are going to happen and you need to be prepared for them so you can take advantage and you know after you meet a girl three or four hours later you know you're at home at, at her place or your place bumping uglies and you're having a good time and so the key is and you know from a biological perspective when we look at the mating dance as far as a man's role a man's role is to create an opportunity for sex to happen because what happens in a we get together we mate we exchange bodily fluids and what, what causes a, a man and a woman, or especially a woman, to sleep with a guy after she's only known him for a few hours and another guy she might date for a month or two before she sleeps with him? It's like, what is that? What kind of triggers are going on biologically that would you know, make it rationally okay in her mind to sleep with this dude she just met, and then, but make the guy that she's dating for a long-term relationship make him wait? And so there's two different types of things here because in the animal kingdom, the whole point of, of two, two beings coming together of, of the same type of species is so they can procreate, combine their DNA into offspring. And then that offspring is strong enough to not only survive and grow up, but to survive, grow up, and be able to reproduce. And in essence, basically all we're, really, we're driven by at a biological perspective is the need just to carry on our genes into the future and to per perpetuate a future generation. And so if you look in the mirror, I mean, the bottom line is you are the best of what your ancestors had to offer. You obviously, your ancestors were successful in mating because you're here, because I'm here, because all the rest of us are here. So back to what I was talking about earlier is that the whole point is, is that a guy's got to create an opportunity for sex to happen. And so the biggest problem a lot of guys think, and like where I used to be when I was younger, is that you think, well, what, do I, what am I going to say? What do I have to say to get her to do what I want? And the crazy thing about it is that you really don't have to do a lot of anything other than to hang back and get to know her. I mean, think about it. If you were hanging out with somebody and you were just having a good time, and things clicked, maybe you had similar interests, you know, maybe she's into astrology and you're into astrology and like so you strike up some fascinating conversation and like you're completing each other's sentences. I mean, that's what happens. It's like I talk about in the article, women want to be in a love story. You know, those are, that's what women live for. They live for that just connection to, to meet, run into someone and it just seems like you've known them forever. And obviously at the end of the night, it ends up in the bedroom because that's like fate. It's just, you know, it's like women, that's why they read all the, the romance novels. It's just their chemistry was so overwhelming between the two of you that you didn't want to be apart. As a matter of fact, the more time you spent together, the more closer that you wanted to be to one another. And so what I tell guys is like, stop thinking about it. Stop trying to worry about where it's going to go or if it's a relationship or if it's going to be more than just friends or a hookup or or whatever. You want to learn to go with the flow and just have fun. Now I'm going to read to you an email that I actually just got from one of my coaching clients who ran into a situation. He went out this past Friday night and runs into a girl and now she's going on this trip that a bunch of his friends are want him to go on and he's, and he's thinking about not going 
because he wants to spend time away from her. And so let me, I'll read this to you. He says, hey, Corey, I run into a situation that's a bit unique to me. I met this girl Friday who is a friend's girlfriend's friend. We hit off pretty good. Before the night was over, I got her number and dipped out with my other buddy to a few other bars. The next night I was out with some people at a club. My friend, whose girlfriend knows this girl, asked me what I was doing. I let him know I was at this club, so he came and brought his girlfriend. Unknown to myself, her friend, the girl that he met the previous night, was looking to catch him, and catch him out and meet up with him. He says I was pretty tanked as it was my goal that night just to go out and have fun which is perfect because when you go out with your buddies you're out to have a good time not to meet chicks and if you meet girls along the way great it's all part of going with the flow so that night and so basically he ends up meeting with this girl she shows up he's drunk they're making out all night and then some kind of drama happens in between the two groups and everybody splits up and parts ways and let's see here. He says, I want to go camping. He brings up a story. Apparently, he's, his buddy's going on a camping trip and is inviting him to go. But apparently, this girl he just met is going to be there too. And this is the key. You want to go with the flow. You just want to go out and hang out and have a good time. And if you hook up with this girl, awesome. If you hook up with a different girl on a trip, that's awesome true. It, it doesn't matter. That's the whole point. The point is, is that... I mean, if you were to, like, blow off your buddy and not go because you're worried about, you know, following some routine or following the th things I talk about in my book, well, this is a different situation. This is an opportunity where a group of people are going to be together. If you and this girl have chemistry, hey, great. It's going to, I mean, the bottom line is she's going to be there for those set period of days. you got plenty of time to spend together and hang out and not talk her out of sleeping with you is basically what you have to do. And I would say... You know, based on the fact that she's making out with you the first night, and obviously you two really have a connection that more than likely probably the first night you're all hanging out on this camping trip, that, you know, you'll be giving her the old pork sword and everything will be great and you'll be sending me a, a great story about it. And so, you know, when a girl meets you and she likes you, I mean, like I said before, women like sex just as much as we do. So go out and have fun and don't talk her out of it. When you're out with her, just have fun. Let her talk. When she shares things, go, really? Wow. No shit. Huh. And be interested in what she has to say. and Let her talk about things. It's, you know, Because when a woman's around you and she likes you, she'll stand too close. She'll reach over and she'll touch you on the arm. Or she'll lean, you know, she'll lean in and she'll bump you as you're walking along. And, or she'll reach over and touch your arm. Or you know, Who knows? She may just come right up and kiss you. Depends on how aggressive she is or maybe how many drinks that she's had in her. So these are all things that you want to consider because the most important thing like I said before is that you where most guys screw up is they meet a girl and they have chemistry and then they start worrying about what I should do what I should say and so what happens is he is he starts acting awkward and when a guy acts awkward around a woman it makes her feel uncomfortable and women want to be uncomfortable want to be comfortable and when a guy makes them feel uncomfortable it makes them want to just get away and so if you can make them comfortable just by talking and shooting the shit about whatever and letting, you know, being fascinated with her and being interested in who she is and letting her talk about things that are interesting to her, she'll feel comfortable and she'll feel like you actually give a damn about who she is as a woman and yet you want to get to know her. That'll cause her to feel more attraction to you and it'll cause her to feel more comfortable and then things will naturally proceed a few hours later to the bedroom. So I was out recently with a, a really good friend of mine, and he's recently split up from his wife, and so he's got this situation where he's got a, nan a new nanny for his kids, and this girl's obviously basically half his age. She's really beautiful, and and so he's hanging out with this with her one day, and he's like, you know, he's like, I really like this girl, and he's like, but I feel kind of she's really great with the kids, and she's awesome because you know apparently the last one they had really sucked. So he gets his new new nanny, and everything's going great. And he's thinking, "Hey, I don't want to, you know, what if what if I screw it up?" And so he's he's talking to her one day, and she's telling him that she felt kind of guilty because apparently she had an affair with, you know, an older guy. And she basically proceeds to tell him how she likes older men, and and because they know how to talk to women, and they know how to understand women, and 
and my friend's sitting there, he's like hemming and hawing about what should I do, and I was like, just go out and hang out with her and have a good time, and I was like, I said, the real, there's a really good chance the fact that she brought up the fact that she likes older men and that she basically had an affair with an older guy that was that was married, and basically what she's communicating to you is that she likes you and she probably wants to sleep with you because he has a lot of chemistry with her. They hang out all the time together, obviously because of the kids, and she does a great job with them. So the best way to handle a situation like that is just to continue to hang around her and see what happens. If she reaches over and touches you and gets real close or leans up against you when you're you're walking together or bumps into you and you know and, and you see things like that or she's talking and she's telling you you know a story about how how she dated somebody that was older or slept with somebody she was working for or who was older and it's like, you know, ask her something just to, playfully. It's like, are you trying to tell me that you're interested in me? Or, just something s silly. It's, you know, what are you saying? Are you saying you have feelings for me? It's ask her questions. Really? Tell me more. Don't leave anything out. Really? And if she says that and reveals that she really has strong feelings, then you just look her in the eye and just say, I think you need to get it over with and come over here and kiss me. Just go with the flow, folks. It's all you have to do. Just don't talk women out of sleeping with you, and they will give you everything you want. I'll talk to you soon.